because if shaitan he can clone and you agree that shaitan he cloned the look of Suleiman, correct correct okay how we guarantee that the one who came to muhammad is not the same shaitan and he cloned the look of jibreel whoa whoa because now you agreed that shaitan he can clone anyone correct okay so how what is the guarantee that the one who was coming to muhammad is not the same shaitan who have good skills in cloning and he claimed to be jibreel yeah, you have a point there not I only that i have a surprise for you isn't it your prophet he said that he received satanic verses from a shaitan his name is al abyad who he came to him in the image of Jibreel. Which verse is that? Well, the Quran speak about satanic verses. If you remember the author who Muslim they tried to kill him, Salman Rushdie. Yeah, chapter fifty-three, right? Satanic chapter verses. 53, yes. Verse okay, satanic verses. If you read the story, the excuse is that Shaitan he came in the look of Jibreel. He gave Muhammad satanic verses, and the Shaitan his name is Abiyad. So now it's confirmed that Muhammad, he was receiving Quran from a cloning or cloned angel, yet he is a shaitan. So you must then now, by adopting such a fairy tale story, you destroy all your belief because now we can't trust any, anybody, anyone. Even Muhammad, maybe himself, he is, a, he is the same shaitan. Because if shaitan can clone, Suleiman, he can clone Muhammad, correct? Yeah, that's what the Solomon story tells us. Okay. So, how we can guarantee that Muhammad himself is not the shaitan? No, because uh, he did, uh, shaitan did that, uh, he threw, he didn't clone anybody, he just threw the voice, threw the message. No, Muhammad, no, no, no. Muhammad, he said, Shaitan explanation of this verse. Uh, Shaitan, his name is Abiyad. He came to me in the image of Jibreel and he gave me those verses. Yeah, so never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but he recited the revelation, narrated or hmm. spoken. Hmm. Shaitan through. Some falsehood in it. Yeah. So. Yeah. See, so Satan he just threw falsehood in what he was reciting. Yeah, but how he threw? So he didn't how, take how, the Satan didn't how, take any. How Muhammad it. convinced? Because you know, all you you Muslim, you, you you always you say that Muhammad he don't receive something in his head. He meet the angel, and the angel give him Quran. Correct. Correct. All right. So, this, so yeah. in order for Muhammad to receive those verses. He have to meet the angel in person as usual. Correct. All right. How the shaitan he came, Muhammad, he confirmed. He says, shaitan, his name is al Abiyad. He came to Muhammad and he is the one who gave him the satanic verses. Correct. Now we have two angels. One, his name is Jibreel. And one is shaitan. Both they look the same, correct? Yeah, but doesn't give a Jibril come back again to uh, how we to know the that the one who came back? I didn't give how we know that the one who came back is not the same shaitan? They look the same yeah, because he advises him and tells him, No, that why did you speak those words? I didn't know. He, 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 see, this is, this is actually additional proof that Muhammad is a satanic man. Because if the angel came to him right away before he do it, don't the angels is watching? Isn't it the angel watching? Isn't it Allah watching what is Shaitan is doing? Why he waited until Shaitan? He took the image of Jibreel. He come to Muhammad. He delivered the verses, and then two weeks, three weeks after, she, uh, angel he come to him. He says, Muhammad, what you did? This is not me who spoke to you. Shouldn't he right away say to him, This is not me? Probably it's uh, Allah's test for us. So Allah, He test so you by sending Allah, He test you 
by making Muhammad receiving Quran from Shaitan. And he sends Gabriel after that to uh, abolish that also, right? He sent what? He sends Gabriel. How you know it's Jibreel? Now we know we cannot trust Jibreel because now Jibreel it can be uh, the same Shaitan. Maybe maybe the Shaitan killed Jibreel. We don't know. Maybe Jibreel now is in jail. Maybe Shaitan he trapped him somewhere. So where was Jibreel when Shaitan came to Muhammad and he took his look? Isn't you Muslim believe that angel is always a company, even normal Muslims? Correct. Correct. Okay. Now we. This is Muhammad. Do Muhammad have an angel? His name is Jibril. Accompany him or not? Yeah, but every Muslim we believe that we have a Satan also with us. No, there is a Satan on our left shoulder and a, a Satan and a, a good angel on our right shoulder. So both of them are doing uh, controlling his mind at the same time, probably. No, this is not about controlling mind. This is about a physical, oh, a physical person, oh. a physical person. He come to the in in the image of Jibril to Muhammad, and he spoke to him in the look of an angel. It's not in the mind; it is physical. Yeah, but the verse doesn't say that, CP. It says uh, no. The says verse actually look, okay, okay, look, just to show you that the verse doesn't make any sense anyway. Why? Look, read with me carefully. It says, "Never we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but when he recited revelation or narrated or spoke, hmm? this is additional from the uh, translator, Shaitan he throws some falsehood in the recitation. Correct." Correct. All right. So now the recitation of the shaitan is where is mixed with from, the, uh, from is, the prophet's tongue. No, he recited already. Quran is always recitation. It's not a book. It's not written yet. So the the Quran of shaitan is mixed with the Quran of Allah. Correct. Uh, the words, those words alone. It doesn't matter. The, those, uh, the Quran, Quran is words too. The Quran is words. Isn't the Quran is words? So the words of yes, Shaitan. Those verses, I mean. Those, huh? Those particular verses, I mean. Yeah. So the that particular verses. Okay. Of, uh, so the satanic Allah verses. The satanic verses now is inserted by the mouth of Muhammad with Allah verses. Do we agree? Correct. Okay. And then Allah will delete them. Correct. Correct. All right. How we can guarantee that this verse itself is not coming from Shaitan? To make us relax because now people they discover that Muhammad is a fraud. What happened when Muhammad recited those verses? He started bowing down to the gods of the pagans. Not only he recited them, he said, Those are the three daughters of Allah, the high, their intercession to Allah is required. And he bowed down, and all the pagans bowed down with him. So not only he recited by mouth, he physically bowed down to the idols. The Arab then they said, here we go. Muhammad is a liar. He claimed he will not pray to anyone except his God, Allah. Now he is praying to Allah, our God, and his daughters. Muhammad, after that, he noticed many people, they start leaving Islam because they exposed, he was exposed. So now he made a verse saying that Allah told me, that the one who gave me this is shaitan. It's not me. I was a victim. He came to me in the look of a shaitan. His name is Al-Abiyad. And now, how we can guarantee that this verse itself is not made by the same shaitan to make us relax? Because look what the verse is saying. Not a single prophet before you, but shaitan, he gave him false revelation. Name one for me. Shaitan gave him false revelation. Satan gave who false revelation? According Apart to the verse, Muhammad, according to the verse, yeah. every prophet before Muhammad, he received satanic verses. Name one prophet he received satanic verses. Probably it must be uh, who was that guy? 
you mean for prophets from uh, in the mentioned in the Quran or in any the prophet or, if you wish I don't know if you can tell me even Trump I don't care a, a, a person you 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 consider him as a prophet this is story never happened to anyone this is only for Muhammad he saved satanic verses he recite them he say them and then he waited a few weeks and then uh, uh, where was the all this time and uh, you know and don't you Muslim you say no one can make Quran save Allah Correct. Okay. How Muhammad did not notice that this is going to be from Allah? If the Quran is and something is unique, the, if, if the Quran is uh, uh, according to the false uh, uh, claim of the Muslims, it is unique, amazing, so beautiful, and nobody can write like it. Isn't it the Quran says that he challenged the human and the genie, and shaitan is a genie, as you know, to make Quran like this, but they cannot? No, he's talking about the entire Quran, not just one. No, verses. no, no. He said Surah. We do not know how how big what Muhammad he will receive. This is the Muslim stories. So if I can make a sentence like Allah, then I can make a Surah because Surahs is many sentences. I will make more one sentence, one more sentence, one more sentence. I have a Surah. So can we write the same as the Quran of Allah? Obviously, Shaitan can do easy. As you see here, Shaitan. He gave Muhammad satanic verses. Did Muhammad notice that this is not from Allah? At least because it's different. Yeah, way. But, yeah, because Gabriel came back and told him that it is not from exactly. Allah. Exactly. So, so Muhammad did not notice from. himself. How Muhammad did not notice right. that what he said is wrong? Yeah, because he's only revealing God's word. No, no, no. Not just wait, wait, wait. What do you mean revealing God? This guy, he keeps saying we worship Allah only. We worship Allah only. We worship Allah only. And now he is saying... The daughters of Allah is true and we have to intercede through them. So he did not notice that this is a total contradiction for what he said before. So now I, I say to the Christian here, we need to worship Jesus. Only Jesus can save us. Only Jesus can help us. Only Jesus can take us to heaven. Only Jesus can, can forgive our sin. And then second day I say, oh, forgive, you know, follow, uh, follow, uh, 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 a priest or a bishop he can forgive us no this is a contradiction either only Allah and then you call yourself as you claim monotheist or you accept that the daughters of Allah are true and you worship them and you ask them for intercession so let us say you really never show up shouldn't Muhammad in you that this is really totally the opposite of what he said if I say something to you like sometime we speak, you know, like because we are focusing on something and then maybe I will mention the wrong name. I will say, I want to say Prophet Isaiah. I say Prophet, uh, let us say, uh, you know, I say uh, Elijah, you know, by, by mistake. This is, can be acceptable. But here we are talking about destroying all the belief, all the practice, turning one, 180 degree and worshipping the three daughters of Allah. And then... I did not notice until Jibreel come to me and say, this is not right. Where was the mind of Muhammad? Was he monotheist all the time or sometime? Yeah, but, but worshipping is not mentioned in the Quran, isn't it? It's just only mentioned that he threw some falsehood, but it doesn't mention... Okay, hold on. Down and no, it's mentioned in the interpretation. If you go in the interpretation, it says that he recite... He, they, the Muslim, they have even the verses which is given by the Quran. What Muhammad said exactly, they have it. The Muslim, they have it. He said the intercession of the daughters of Allah, Sharaniq al Ula. So when the Quran, when, when Muhammad he mentioned that, the Arab they copied, the Muslim they copied, and then it's spread all over. And then this is why Muhammad later he, he found himself, he got busted. So he decided to fix it. He was trying to be hypocrite with the Arab, make them follow him just to accept him. But when he thought no, no believers are there and nobody would know it, what he just did. But when the news spread, Muhammad, he decided to say, oh, this is shaitan. He gave it to me. Don't blame me. Allah will take it off. But how come Muhammad did not notice that shaitan, he gave him such a thing? No, it's probably that probably that means that uh, Satan must have come in the form of Muhammad and done all this. 
Okay, so now so what we in conclusion, Shaitan he come in the form of Angel Jibreel. He spoke to Muhammad, gave him satanic verses. Muhammad he take them blindly, even though he is worshiping three daughters of Allah. Muhammad he go home, still he did not notice what he did. Muhammad he stayed there for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then Angel Jibreel sent by Allah to tell Muhammad this is not right. So all this time. The believer, disbelievers, they believe in Muhammad gods, which is the three daughters of Allah. And Muhammad himself did not notice that this is from shaitan. Did not notice. You're correct. Same, same like the Christians, you know, for 600 years, you are worshipping uh, a god, which is a uh, man. Okay. Same like that. Now, but you see, years, we don't have, we don't have. Saying, okay, oh. hold on, hold on. You cannot compare because we don't believe that shaitan, he gave satanic verses to Jesus. And even your Quran, 600 years after, confirm our book, says this is a true book. So if we believe in a man and the Quran confirm that the book between our hand is a true book, is, is that correct? Yeah, but when you, which book are you talking about? It says the one is with the us. Book, the one is with book. us. The one is with us. You yeah, said, which book? You said, with, you, said for, with, you, you said, you said a second ago, for 600 years, for 600 years, you Christian worship a man, correct? Correct. So you are counting the 600 years of until Muhammad came, correct? Correct. But when Muhammad came, he confirmed the book with us. Chapter 2, verse number 89. When they are come to them, to the Jews and to the Christians, the book of the Quran, confirming what is with them, the Torah and the Injil. Confirming it, not denying it. What is with them? Do you see it? Yeah, I see this. Okay, but, so the Quran, but when you say confirming 600 the, years, actually the translation is false. In Arabic it says, Musaddiqun lima ma'ahum, which means believing in what is with them, not just confirming. There's a huge difference between confirming and believing. So Muhammad is coming as a believer in the Torah, believer in the Injil, which is with us, not with him. Correct. So how that can be corrupt? And this is the book after Jesus, 600 years after the Christian believed that Jesus is God. The Quran confirming the book is with us. Yeah, but but the, but the Quran says that Jesus was taken up to heaven directly. That is a contradiction. He was not that doesn't matter. Jesus, we believe that Jesus is in heaven anyway. So where is Muhammad now? Muhammad is waiting to be resurrected. Oh, so he's dead. It's not a dead as such. It's like he's, he's dead. Yeah, you, are, you just said he is waiting to be resurrected. What does that mean? He is waiting to be resurrected. That's mean he is dead. Correct? No, he's in a state of sleep. You can say. Like. Oh, so now dead is asleep now. Yeah, because time doesn't matter for that. Uh, when one person dies, then time doesn't matter anymore for them. So. When they uh, wake so up, when I die, I will be sleeping too. 